Uh, okay, we're recording. Um, right, I'm going to talk about Pythagoras' theorem here. Uh, Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras, Greek mathematician, and he had a theorem called Pythagoras' theorem. I want you to observe very carefully that it is not this. That is wrong and that is correct. This is British English, this is American English, and we don't want any of that. Okay, so what does Pythagoras' theorem tell us? Well, it's to do with right angled triangles, like we've been talking about. Angled triangles. So when I draw a right angled triangle, I'm just going to draw it here, you'll observe that I'm putting it in standard form. So my right angle's down there. Uh, I'm not drawing it in any other weird way like that with a right angle up here. I'm drawing it in standard form. And what Pythagoras' theorem does is tell us something about the sides of the uh, the sides of this triangle here. So if that one's side A and that one's B, Pythagoras' theorem gives us C, which is that length there. And I just want to spend a little bit of time pondering this. I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about this and how, how clever it is. Um, I guess one thing which is immediately obvious is that if you've got a rectangle with side A and side B, then Pi and it's whoops. And it's a right angled sort of a rectangle like that. Then Pythagoras' theorem, Pythagoras' theorem tells us the distance of this diagonal here. And because it's a symmetrical kind of figure, we've got this distance here as well. Can you see how this triangle here? Actually, I'll draw it in a different colour. Can you see how this triangle here, it, it, which is sort of embedded in that um, rectangle, exactly matches this this guy here? There you go. So that's quite uh, that's quite nice. Now. Before I start talking about exactly what Pythagoras' theorem is, I just want it—I just want it to be—I just want to make some observations. The first one is—I'm going to go back to black here. The first one is that if I actually make a rectangle out of sheet steel with sides A and B, if I actually make that, then this diagonal has got a particular length. You might not know what that is, but it's as obvious as anything can be that because the whole thing's made out of a rigid steel or rigid um, rigid material then that diagonal has a particular length it doesn't wobble about it's not like it's on a spring or something like that it's got a particular value and that's kind of quite important because what I'm trying to do is to tell you what that value is but the first thing I guess the most important thing is to figure out that it's it's well specified a mathematician would say it's well specified it's got a particular value it doesn't wobble about it doesn't change it doesn't depend upon what color you're drawing it it's got a specific value and Pythagoras' theorem will tell you what that um, what that distance is and you can see that this is an important thing it, it, it doesn't sound super important but of course if you try and make something out of steel or make something out of wood, you are going to need to know what these distances are. If you're making a house, you will want to know, here's your house, there it is, not the best drawn house you've seen in the world. You might want to fit, um, you might want to fit in a spar across here or, or do, do some kind of a, um, put some kind of a strengthening thing in there. You're going to want to know how long that is and you'll know the height of course and you might know the width of this thing here and you want to know what that diagonal width is there. And Pythagoras' theorem shows you what that is for right angled triangles, okay? Which are sort of built into rectangles. Right, I'm going to stop there. Stop, 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 done.